If you're running a business, there's a good chance you have customers. In this video, I give you an overview of customers and talk about jobs. Other videos will show you how to add customers, add jobs, track leads, and how to use the customer center. I'm using a sample company file called Landworks underscore customers, located in the Working Files folder. You can open it to follow along, or you can just watch the video. In QuickBooks, the term customer is used broadly to apply to all kinds of situations. Your business might refer to them as clients, patients, club members, donors, and so on. QuickBooks stores customer information in a record that has several tabs. I'll just show you an existing customer and give you an overview of the tabs and what is stored in each. The Address Info tab stores phone numbers, emails, and address details. The Payment Settings tab uses several fields related to customer payments, such as payment terms. The Sales Tax Settings tab is where you indicate if the customer is taxable or not. You can also select the sales tax rate item to use for this customer. And if it's a wholesale customer, you could enter their resale number in this field. The Additional Info tab is where you can create custom fields, like birth date. And let me quickly talk about customer types. Customer types give you a way to group your customers to analyze different segments of your business. For example, this sample company does landscaping for homeowners and retail business owners. So they have two types of customers, commercial and residential. The company also wants to track how its residential customers heard about the company, so it creates two subtypes from the residential type, from advertisement or web search. If the company runs a report and learns that 80% of the customers are from a web search, it may rethink spending $600 a month on the ad in the local gazette. Let's go on to the Job Info tab. The term job is just another name for project, and they are associated with a customer. You can't have a job without a customer. So, for example, if you're a building contractor and you're remodeling a house, you could create jobs for each phase of the project, such as initial design, kitchen remodel, and master bath remodel. For a legal business, a job could be a case. For an insurance business, a job could be a policy. So the Job Info tab is where you can store the details on a project. And just like customers, you can categorize your jobs by type. For a project-based business, grouping jobs by type helps you report on profitability. For example, you can group and subtotal by type in a report and see which jobs are bringing in the most money. You can also keep track of the job status, and QuickBooks provides all these different statuses for you, but you can add more and change them if you'd like. You can also track the start date, the projected end date, and the actual end date. Keeping track of these things will help you better estimate costs and schedules for future projects. Not all businesses use jobs. A retail store might not have any use for them, and QuickBooks doesn't care if you use them or not. But by using jobs, you can track expenses and income by job and figure out which ones are the most profitable. We'll talk more about customers and jobs in other videos. For now, this was just an overview.